following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 10, NASDAQ up 21, S&P's up 4, gold contract down $5.60, trading at 1197 We have the... Um, Oil contract uh, pulling back a bit, down 30 cents, 67 dollars, 57 cents a barrel. Oil had a big day yesterday. We were just at 65 dollars and change yeah. Tuesday, I think. So. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, now it's going into the two large downdrafts, the one that we had in July as well as the one we had in May. So we'll see how it's going to handle that. Notes and bonds, bottom line, you had the Fed come out saying, "Hey, listen, we're going to raise rates another two times." The Fed fund future rate is saying the second one is like at about 60 percent. We'll see where that shakes out, but guess what? It's not scaring the, the note buyers nor the bond buyers. You get the 10-year note flat, 120.19, 30-year bond up three ticks, 145.18. King dollar, king dollar's up 239 ticks. You have the euro trading at 115.75 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is at 111 to one U.S. dollar. We get sideways markets, except in retail. I, I saw you pull it up right before we started. William Sonoma. William Sonoma. Here goes another one. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here. Outstanding program. Fast market. Kevin, Kevin Hinks, Tom White. You want to trade in ideas upside down, whether it's futures, options, all of the above. Great program. Just go to TFNN.com right on your, your cell phone, folks. Uh, actually, go to YouTube and then hit TFNN much easier to do. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Happy Thursday, guys. How are we doing? Happy, Happy Thursday. Thursday. You know what's wild, Kevin, is that, you know, the uh, the markets have been flat, but every day we're talking to you, man, these retail stocks are up 10%. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing little, you know, that's what I love about this time of the year on the calendar, This, you know, in, in, in terms of, you know, you know the ending of uh, Earnings season. Now we have 91% of the S&P 500 is out. Okay. But later in the in earnings season, we get retailers. Yeah. And the retailers, especially now, are such a huge part of this economy. You know, and and showing these massive numbers that that these re retailers are putting up. I think it's just fun. It's made it. It's, it's made this earnings season so much more fun than in the past when the retailers were all under pressure. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah. No. I. You know. It's it's pretty amazing. So. You know, William Sonoma, folks. Okay, bottom line is that you know that's that's a high-end retailer too, man. There's nothing Definitely. inexpensive in, in William Sonoma. I like to will, I like to window shop William Sonoma. Not, um, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, you know, big numbers. You know, you, you don't want to be Victoria's Secrets. Victoria's Secrets. Evidently, uh, the women are finding different places to get their garments because that that is a lot just, of competition that's the other in that side area. Of it. Yeah, um, right. startups, right? Pretty wild. Yeah. And you're right. And, and so it doesn't mean, Tom and Tommy, that, that, that there's no losers, right? Right. It's still, but it could be something specific to what Victoria's Secret, or L Brands in this case, yes. is selling, which is Victoria's Secret. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to understand what, what you're dealing with in terms of, you know, targets and things like that. But versus maybe there's going to be some losers along the way, and it looks like L Brands is certainly one of them. Right. One of the things I talked to you yesterday about at Nordstrom's, right, bringing in some yep. of those retailers that had built a following on Instagram, social media, whatever it yep. is, online retailers. Um, one of the things they were doing was underwear, swimsuits, and that Nordstrom. So there's there's a one instance where you have an online retailer, yep. spec, you know, spec, right in one little niche of what they're doing and then guess what now they're in Nordstrom's and they have a whole section there um, pretty intense it, it almost seems Tommy, like me go Tommy, ahead Kevin you're at the right age you're at the right age where you understand the key to being in retail like Nordstrom like Macy's like these stores are is you got to be lean and agile yeah and you got to understand how trends are changing and be on those so you see someone like Nordstrom and someone like Macy's making the uh you know, the adjustment 
in their product lines, and it seems to be working for several of them. Yeah, we were just talking about it sitting at our desk yeah. yesterday off the air, and I was saying that's a, that's a, and, and that they went over how no discounts. That was another part of what they yeah. were doing. Right. Because they were going to be that agile, bringing in brands that had a good presence, they didn't have to play this ultra-discount price game because they actually had some kind of brand awareness, you know, that they were confident that they could sell at the price they wanted to as opposed to just and competing on price. That, which, and some of these brands have already basically destroyed the spreads in some of these things. Right. So their price That's is already... That's why they exist, right? Yeah, as so in they, they, they so produce it so, cheaply so they can sell it cheaply. Right, right, right. right. Pretty wild. And, when, and guys, and, what, and to, to follow up on what Tommy said, when you're talking about same-store sales in the 4%, 5%, and even 6%, you, you don't feel the pressure to put things on sale. You've got plenty of, of, of bodies in the store. So that's showing exactly what, you know, same store sales leads to, which is less sales. Oh, th listen, those companies, it actually blows my mind that a comp those companies can be so big and grow at 5%. I agree. That is, like, so it, cool. Like, I want to know estate. what school they went to because right. that is, that's, that, that's a big number, yeah. man. It, you know, I mean, I, agree. I know five, it doesn't sound like a lot, but folks, when, year, you're right? yeah. when you're talking about billion-dollar companies growing that or even $100 million companies, that's, that's a monster And it's number. same store sales across every store they right. have, which is like, right. whoa, of course you're going to have winners and losers in stores, but my goodness, to average same store sales of that type of number is, yeah. is Big time. Good number. Yeah, there, there's an old saying, guys. 5% of a really big number is a really big number. Exactly. It, 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 <laughs> so true, man. And that's why when you get those big moves in a Walmart and a Target and something, and it's yep. like, my goodness, the market cap overnight is just amazing, the difference in valuations, because it's just so staggering. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt. You it's know, fun it's, to watch. It's fun to be a part of it. It's, it's even more fun to trade, guys. There's no doubt. You know, now we're talking trading. Like, so let's let's picture this. You know, you're setting everyone up at the at the spring coming into the summer. We know that you know summer trading is a whole different animal. So, yep. What are we going to be doing coming into the fall? Well, I mean, very good good point, Tom. I mean, what you can count on for the fall once we get past Labor Day, is first and foremost, more eyes on the market. Yeah. Right? Right. It will, the volumes will pick up. More trades trades in the market. The market will, markets will get less whippy. That doesn't mean there won't be volatility because you'll probably see VIX start to creep higher. I mean, we're at 1187 right now in VIX. I expect that VIX to start creeping higher here as we get into the fall trading season. Look at that. That that's that's intriguing, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you, well, actually, we're just coming back to where we spiked on the uh, the tenth, but that is intriguing, man. Uh, so there's no doubt. But, but, and, but remember, Tom, it's a week, and you know this. It's a week before Labor Day. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. This these final I mean, two this weeks. Is such a, right. Exactly. You know, kids are just starting school. Yeah. Or you know, I mean, I don't know anyone. All you see on social media right now are pictures of kids going back to school. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. They're already back in so Florida, get, and, and the countdown right. is down everywhere else, right? Yeah. So once you get to Labor Day, now a lot of eyes. You got one more weekend, and then a lot of eyes start coming back to trading. A lot more eyes on this market. You got to love it. Listen, folks, every trading day right here, outstanding program, fast market, Kevin Hinks, Tom White. You want to get, get some trades going up, going down, options, futures, all of the above. Check it out. If you haven't test driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, great time to do it. Come to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring it up. You can follow along with them using paper money. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Gap stores and Foot Locker today, guys. More retailers. Oh, Perfect. Boy. We got 9% of the S&P left. Let's do it. Unreal. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Cimento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up 
up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrials right now are down 18. You get the Nasdaq up 24. S&Ps are up by three and a half. And let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here. We will get into, uh, we got gas today, right? We do. Natural gas is okay. going to come up, yeah. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities first. Um, Advanced Micro is up 79 cents. L Brands, that's Victoria's Secrets, was part of it. That's yes. down uh, three bucks or what, the 12 percent? What is the E next to that? Do you know? I'm just curious. I've never seen that. No, I'm not. Okay, that's okay. No. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, you get Bank of America uh, down 7 cents. We have uh, Twitter up 26. William Sonoba is the number. That's up 10 percent. NVIDIA is up again, uh, yeah. up $4. You get the chips. AMD is up a yeah. decent amount, up almost a buck, yeah. like $25, $21. And Exact up. Science, now this is interesting. This was up big yesterday. What is this thing? So they must have come up with something. This is up another 10 percent today. So let's see what they do. They uh, develop and commercialize non-invasive. Oh. Um, so, screening tests for early detection of uh, of cancer, colorectal cancer. Okay. So let's see. So stool-based DNA testing for some type of colon cancer, which obviously. Okay. So boy, boy, when, when you when you hit it, you hit it. Look at this. This is so they they were probably a startup or yeah. at 2014, oh, sure. yep. 1.8 million. This year, 426 million. Pretty remarkable. And that's what I thought yesterday. Yeah. So on Tuesday, the stock was $49. It's $72 today. Yeah. And yesterday it opened at 60 Even from there, it's up 20%. Just right. from the open, which is, I'm guessing, they knew what was coming. You know, not that they knew, but you had the information. You had their earnings, whatever they come out with, their announcement for their drug. Yeah. Man, that is an expansion. So it works when you're a medical science company, yeah. right? You're developing world-changing life-saving technology no doubt okay so thursday 10:20. we got 10 minutes until we get natural gas numbers i'm gonna 
pull up our commodity spreads. We're going into natural gas. And let's start things off with the 11 AMs. And currently, we're looking at the September natural gas contract. So we're trading just under $3. We've had some volatility this morning. Yeah, you got some movement out here. Definitely. And to back this up even a little. I need to wear. Yeah, I mean, we're at 294 right now. We're okay. under as low as on about 292. We got a handle, 293. Um, just backing things up to early Wednesday. We're up there just approaching $3. Zooming in a bit. So what we're going to look at, we have EIA numbers at 1030. And I'm jumping back to these charts. So with natural gas sitting just under 295, what's nice is the 11 AMs line up, but we're going to have 295 for a price no, point. If we want exposure to the upside yeah. and downside, all right? So here's our bullish spread for 11 AM. We got 20 cents to the upside. That's going to be a little out of the money because the actual indicative, the underlying is right under 295. Yeah. And then your bearish spread is going to be the one that has a little bit of intrinsic value since the contract's trading under. You're going to be selling the bearish. $20. Pretty good. Not Two bad. cents. Two cents away from 295. And we've moved four cents just in the last yeah. four hours. Yes. Yeah. Um, so those are your 11 AMs. News comes out at 1030. We get those numbers. Uh, we would have exposure until 11. Jumping to the noons, which is nice, same exact oh, spreads. That's good. So all the only variable changing here is the extra hour, and it looks like it's going to cost us about an extra dollar on the bullish side. And uh, that's I, nothing. I would guess it's going to be pretty similar on the bearish side. Yeah, so 21. That's sweet. And that's where it's awesome when it comes like that because yeah. if you're looking for volatility, one penny. That seems like it would be an affordable premium. Oh, it's not even a penny. It's a it is a penny. penny. Right. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a tenth of a penny in the contract, right? Right. 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 So, you know, when we're paying $21 here for both contracts, you'd be looking for 2.1 pennies That's away sweet. from 295. That's... Uh, begins to become your break even. And let's just jump around and see how some of the dailies real quickly line up. So, if you're looking for the 8 till 230s, those are going to have $3 you'd have to use for your price point. Those would really be a pretty negative bearish right. trade because you're five cents in the money to the bearish side. And then on the dailies, Pretty similar, right? So, and just to give a quick illustration, if you're looking from three dollars down to two fifty, this is where. Now, just setting things up here, though, this is a cool trade that you're making this trade potentially with a bearish position, right? right. But what's nice is you're almost essentially getting in at market. That's I mean, the market's tra market's yeah. trading at two ninety four forty seven. Yeah. So call it two ninety four five. Right. And you're getting in at two ninety four two. So you're selling it. Three tenths of a penny below market. That's, That's all it is, right? With defined risk. And that costs. was going to be the final question. Wow. The only reason you're paying that kind of three tenths of a penny in premium is because your risk is capped out at three dollars and you have exposure to two fifty. Keeping in mind, I can't even foresee a position where natural gas falls forty five cents no, before. I'm, I'm but right. guess what? It could move ten cents. Right. And no matter what, you're you're doing. And that, that's that's until two thirty. That's until two thirty. Right. Yeah. Right. So we'll see what happens. 1024 about right now. We get the numbers at 1030. So, and so we'll 295, be we need 2.1 pennies. Okay, exactly. That and that's, we're up. looking at the September contract in natural gas. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, natural gas, where are you? That's in September, okay. It sure so is. This would, this would be delayed when I'm looking at this, but yeah. I think it's pretty right on right now. So, you got, oh, this is going to be interesting too. This is, this is going to be, you know, this is a nice place because what we've already done, you're at the top of the range. You know, the range in natural gas is like that 299. The bottom of the range is 267. Oh, my God. Sure. Um, intraday. It's a big range when no, we go back to daily May. Rather. May, yeah. And, oh, this is going to be interesting, man. This, the, we, we get volatility out of here. This is, look at this volatility this morning, man. Yeah. Now, keep in mind that we didn't even hit the 297. It's only about a penny and a half, two pennies. Yeah. Um, but it's nice when it's jumping around a penny or two ahead right. of the news. That low is 293.5. Okay. We'll see where that baby shakes out. But we sure will. We've had some good volatility out there. Yeah. Uh, now, we're just looking at Alibaba. You know, you talk about uh, making talk money, about right? Volatility and growth, my goodness. Uh, that, this, this is pretty wild, folks. Now, you know, the. The stock's trading up a six bucks, which is not the end of the world. It feels like it should be up more for yeah. the headlines we, we just we, read. When you here. look at these numbers, the numbers are pretty substantial. Now look at this. So 2014, now this is in one. They're taking in 52 billion one. 20, they're on 2019, 396 million. Yeah. Billion one. Yeah. And I'm going to jump to see if we can find the headline. So here it is, because just startling figures here. So Jack Ma, the chairman, yeah. 
His free spending ways helped the e commerce heavyweight sidestep a Chinese economic slowdown and best its rivals this earnings season. And to get down to the numbers, where are we? Here we go. So, revenue at China's biggest e commerce company climbed 61% to approximately almost 12 billion US dollars yeah. in the three months ended in June, matching the average estimate. So, analysts knew it was coming. But uh, they mounted a lot of spending, so that's, you know, such as an acquisition, expanding its supermarket chain, net income sliding 41%. So that's probably the only thing holding it back a little bit. You know, as in, okay, well, you're not going to start printing the money in profit like something like Facebook. You're still, yeah. you know, not like Amazon. You're still kind of in that stage where you're just growing. But to be growing... But they're those, still profitable. Oh, yeah. And, and to be growing that type of number when you're dealing with tens of billions of dollars potentially and you're talking about 60% growth in a company like China that's really poised for some extreme growth, I'm sure, right? Uh, yeah, and look at the numbers. So they, they have 35 supermarket stores right now. That but seems like nothing, when, right? It is nothing, because yeah. when you look underneath it, the, the market size, folks, in China right now, they're saying is 1.3 trillion. Yeah, and they're teaming and, uh, up with SoftBank to put the $3 billion into uh, one of their other, I mean. Pretty amazing. I said to you, it seems like they are on the early stage side of almost an Amazon story in terms of spending Boku bucks for Boku growth. But guess what? At one point, you're gonna start bringing that cash register. Oh, boy. And, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back with those gas numbers for you. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at that natural gas. Uh, you got a little pop out here. We do. So we have. Let's pull the headline over. Natural gas inventories rising 48 billion cubic feet last week. We pulled up the estimate somewhere between 50 to 52, yeah. depending on the median analyst estimate. So a little bit under what they were looking for. That would explain a bit of a pop right off the bat. Uh, 295 is kind of where we're trading at. If you made those volatility trades, 295 is not where you want to end up at right. 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. You need 297.1 for break even. Yeah, you know, because uh, you have exposure basically for volatility to the downside and upside from that 295 price point because that's where both those spreads line up. So we got the number. We'll see where it plays out. Uh, right off the bat, though, trading, we're at about 294.5. We're up about a penny from it's where we were. It's got a little strength, yeah. It has a little strength, for sure. Those are five-minute bars, and uh, we'll check back in and see what happens on that natural gas contract. 877-927-6648. Let's go over to the dollar, because the dollar's catching a bit again. So, uh, dollar out here. Let's see what we got here. Put it this way. We were at 95... 385. I think 95,440 is the number. Right. Yeah, it is. Okay, so. And where's that number again? I know we've looked at it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's, that's July 19th, yeah. the high of that day. Okay. And that's when it you know, got back inside the range. That was the one it was trying to take out. And it really got from like 95,220 to that number. Because so, if we went across the tops here, do you know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure. They line up well, you, you yeah. Get, you get the spike. Yep. So this is going to be a big day out here for King Dollar to see whether it can get back outside that range. You know, uh, intraday, um, what you have is that you did, you did get this, this little spike, that little spike high up there. So that little spike high of the 95,430 looks like it's going to have to get tested, uh, you know, once again. The um, market bottom line is that uh, each, you know, Green paint is there, man. I believe the high in the S&P, 2873. So uh, we're not that far away from new highs once again in the S&P. Yeah, and the NDX is going after its high. The, uh, the S&P is also. So yeah. let me, that's uh, a delayed one. So let me see if I can get this one up. Yeah, no, you're still you're going after it. So the high in the SPY is a 287.31. Yep. We've hit day 286.994 right now. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to, we're going to, and more than likely. Get the champagne ready. New all time highs coming at it. I'm telling we'll you. Get it ready for your afternoon show for prime time. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength, you get uh, Synopsis is up big. Yeah, that's up 7%. At that earlier. Yeah, it's up 7%. You got Win up 2%. Ah, are they gambling in Macau? Yeah, we'll see. Well, NVIDIA is up 2%, and you got Cadence Design up one9 uh, taken away from it, the Liberty Financials down 2.3. You get uh, Dentist Supply off 1.3. They're, they're a lot, aren't they, that Dentist Supply? They it are. seems like they're a volatile style. Is, oh. the, is the Dental Supply business a volatile business? No, th this yeah. is the, I know, this is the, is it the, I believe that this is the one, no, this isn't the one. That, uh, this is, they, they supply everything, yeah. this company here. We, oh, oh, yeah, if you want to see a crazy, this is, this is an equity that went to heaven and now has gone to hell. Look at this. So, yeah, we start right. out 2009, it's $21. 2017, November, it's $68. Now you're at yeah. $38. And you, you probably get an ABC structure down, bringing it, if, if we do, yeah, that would be what? That's $68, $41. It's 27 bucks yeah. off 49 so that's like 21 20, 22 Yep, yeah, and there you go. Your yeah. swing point is 22 That's where it's going, man. Yeah. How about MGM? Can we look at MGM? They got a new casino in western Massachusetts, right? Oh, do they? In Revere, Suffolk, Suffolk Downs area, I believe. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get your slot machines ready, man. Get your blackjack, your casino, Revere. your craps. I love it. I know, right? Um, they weren't going to let them put Folks, it. I used to... I used to Cook school and jump the fence at Suffolk Downs so I could. Well, you'd have it, mate. You'd have a full eight class five star casino to, to play hooky for these days, totally. man. <laughs> I gotta love it. Yeah. So, MGM. Oh. Yeah, pulling back a bit. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what. So, the low. Let's see what they have here. So, low for the year is 26, high is 38. $15.5 billion company, not yeah. bad. Well, they're going to be growing now because they're, they're, they're not growing that much. I believe this is this company like is in debt in a big way, though. But, okay. But, hey, guess what? You know. Can you go the, to the news and see if anything pops yeah, up on them? I'm just I'll, curious what the headlines are. It uh, should, right? 
I mean, it's 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 been some time coming. There it is. Uh, uh, yeah, Mass Concedo, Consumer Impact. Oh, and Trump. Okay, perfect. We'll combine them all into one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a, a video. That's what it's going to oh, be. Okay. That's all. Okay. okay. Go back. Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, it'll be interesting. Oh, there it is. Uh, opening first resort casino. I think that might be the oh, same that's a thing. CNBC They're all going to be deal. a CNBC. Um, but that's yeah. so they they're just opening it up, right? Is that yeah, I believe it is open now, and because um, there's plenty of gamblers in that area, folks. I mean, yes. that's why Atlantic City would used to do so good. Well, that's why the Indian casinos do so good in Connecticut, right? What what, what, what casino is that? Yeah, Foxwoods and Mohegan yeah, Sun, right. um, and, and that they were so early on the in the stage yeah. of casinos being open nowadays right. you have a lot more competition across the board in terms of um just a very you know oh. in the the radius that they were able to pull people in totally. and they did it right because they built their own little city right, right. i mean that's what foxwoods really did they yeah. they had their own little city they almost had roads they had you know it looked like you were walking down a trail inside meanwhile you're in their casino you know oh it's, really oh yeah i've never been to it yeah. oh you've never been to foxwoods no. what's going on they got plenty of crap stables over there <laughs> they do <laughs> i think by the time they were building foxwoods i was already down here okay no yeah. no i don't think so no, 2000. I'm Fox was 20 years. All right, we're gonna look it up. Fox, we're gonna look it up. Google well, has the answers to everything. Yeah, but I wasn't in Boston in 2000. No, that's it's far before Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, they they were thriving in by by 2000. Yeah. As in, when we got out of college, I could go down there and they were already building, you know, their second, third, fourth, whatever it be, tower. Right. right. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go back and look at that gas car. Let's chart. do it. Let's see where we're at. Man, it's been five minutes. It could be anywhere. Oh, we look at well. Yeah. So we made it up to a high of two ninety six five. Again, you're looking for two cents or two ninety seven. Yeah. About a little bit higher than that to the upside would start to become your exposure. Now, one of the things we always talk about. Let's say you had made the twelve o'clock trade. So you'd have exposure upside, downside, all your value right now in the bullish spread. Here would be your bullish spread. Yeah. You could get out of that right now if you wanted to. Take 12 bucks off the table. You cut your cost down to about nine or ten dollars, and then if you're looking for a, a reversal, you have value anywhere below 295. Right. And having until noon, that's definitely possible in terms of that contract ending up below 295 in the next hour and a half. Right? You know that that uh, volatility trade yesterday in the oil market would yeah. have been insane. Yeah. That's. Quite a, that's quite. that's the yesterday. If you we'll laid, pull it up because if you laid that on, I didn't take it off. That was pretty intense, man. And of course, you wouldn't need the volatility trade to get action in both directions because yeah. otherwise you would have had to be directional. But man, oh man, right? So we'll just go back to yesterday. We're at about sixty-seven dollars. That's at about eight thirty yesterday morning. Okay. And then yeah, the oil contract. You know, we're at sixty-eight dollars by the time you get up there. And that's just at the morning, let alone if you, you know, where we came from overnight and so forth. And There's yet, dailies in yet, there. There's and any. what happened yesterday is that that was, that was a very small amount. I, well, I, I forget what it was, but it was like 20 or 30 cents. Okay, was, I forgot was, myself. It was, I it was 40 cents, I think. I think yeah, it was 40 I mean, cents. so here's the contract at 1025 yesterday, yeah. trading about 6735. I think we we're looking at 6725 being the pivot point yeah. on those spreads. And 6725, man, you know, when we got up to noon, we we're up there at $68. So that Pretty was, wild. yeah, big time. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Come back with our man, Mr. Jack Gleason from Major League Trading. And we get uh, we get back to the Red Sox and we play in Tampa Bay, I think. Uh, All right, tomorrow. Major League. Yeah. Stay as the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you, now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors.
No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrials right now up 14. You get the Nasdaq up 34, S&P's up 7. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Leeson from Major League Trading, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. Jack Leeson, what's going on, brother? Guys, how's it going? I believe last time we talked, the Dow was the strongest index. I think it's the weakest here so far today on a percentage change basis. It's tied up with the Russell, but uh, got a couple of charts for you guys. You know, summer's uh, coming to a close end in Chicago, so I'm thinking about moving somewhere south closer to you guys. Uh, how's the weather down there? That's, this is a good time it's, to move down it's here. It's beautiful, man. Give, give it about six weeks and move down here, and then you got it made until May 30th, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'm going to uh, Costa Rica, actually, for the winter. So. I, uh, where are you going to go? What part of it? Santa Teresa, Santa Teresa, however, however you want to say it, uh, it's on the west coast of Costa Rica, but yeah, I'm going to just rent a home down there and uh, live like an expat, but still pay my taxes. We might have to visit Jack instead then. <laughs> That's, you know, it is, and the internet's fun, great down there, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I've, done, yeah. I've, I've been there a few times, and I've, I haven't done the show out of it, but I mean, it's just like being right here, yeah. and right, it, there's, there's no difference, man. And of course, living is a whole different animal. It's, it's awesome, yeah. Oh, yeah, M much more of a relaxed lifestyle for sure. Yeah, I, I, the one thing I had to check with my uh, the, the guy I was renting the home from, I'm like, listen, I need a solid internet connection or this will not be possible. Yeah. So I'm going to be trading with an ocean view instead of a city view. Perfect. So we can't wait to see that yeah. background in your interviews, man. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to cut down your trade and, like, pretty dramatically you'll, you'll find out real quick and probably <laughs> increase your profits man. And increase quality your life. There you, go. you know I, I've slept on those beaches more times than uh, yeah it's it's a real easy place to just lay out and go to sleep and groove Why and not? go surfing simultaneously that's in you'll have the waves where you are which is great all right so yeah. we got your charts up here Jack you want to start with the Dow all right, let's start with the Dow pull it up on uh, mine so if last week I came on the Dow was the uh, stronger market and today it's you know not that it's um i mean it's so positive here but i just want to talk about a couple of resistance levels above and then obviously if we get through them where i think we could head from there so today i'm looking at right around uh 25 
1,827 to yeah. 25,800 is really just being like a topside resistance that we could possibly struggle with. But the way we've set up is just in a same anchor new high sequence. It's actually from a uh, anchor from last Thursday, last time it was on, we pulled back into that 38% retracement at the open. That's going to give us upside targets above 2,600. There is some old daily targets unfilled up at the 25,950 and 25,000. 968 level so we'll expect those to uh just stall us uh possibly on the way up but i'm looking for a continuation here in the dow and i was actually happy to see that pullback over the last you know two days here of course all you need is a little bit of a news event to get the sellers coming in and getting them pumped and you know right now we're holding the necessary levels we need to hold is assuming we continue to hold those levels i believe we're gonna you know continue to trade higher up into those profit targets over the next week or so and then so the, sec the second shot uh, we have, I believe, is the S&P. Yeah. I so. We have the S&P. So S&P, similar sequence, uh, except it's an extension from uh, a, a location of Monday's uh, location of, or sorry, last Wednesday's swing. Uh, so that 38% retracement traded on the Michael Cohen news at the end of the day on Tuesday. Um, you know, by the yesterday, it was like all that news came out. The market really didn't care much about it uh, halfway through the day. We had FOMC meeting minutes. Didn't really have much of a reaction to them. I didn't get a chance to go over them. I'm not sure if you guys did, but these, uh, we, this 28.73 half resistance and 28.78 half, those are both just prior levels that we've traded. Now, we're not at new all-time highs in the S&P. The Russell is... Um, but, you know, those can just be previous levels of resistance that we've broken down from. And anytime we break down from a level in the past, I look at the area location where we had begun selling off and then anticipate that to be resistance moving forward. So that's where I got that 28.73 half. I actually had that on my chart before we traded it on Tuesday. We dipped two pips in and then sold off, uh, you know, pretty much 20 points little more than that so still respecting those resistance levels above if we can get that full continuation breakout uh we got 2888 profit targets i'm looking for and then if we do break down uh 2843 zone is where i have an untested support so 2843 also if we fail to continue higher and do start trading lower take out tuesday's low look for that level to stick and rip i don't think we're gonna get through that on a first test so mark up that 2843 on your s p chart um and then i i didn't send you gold but i'm really watching gold had a nice reversal uh, on the last Wednesday, but I'm going to be watching the 1187.8 level, which is the full halfway back from the bottom of the range, which happened last Thursday to Wednesday, yesterday's high, that 50% retracement, 1187.8. So mark that up as well. Just wanted to go over that because I know you're a gold guy, so keep an eye on that one. Yeah, you, you know it's going to be interesting. I mean, we're, we're only uh, 10 days away from uh, Labor Day and going full bore into the uh fall which when i was looking at that uh, the s p chart there you had like a 40 point spread from the highs to the lows which is and that's that's you know what you yeah, can actually see folks okay once we get uh into september I'm surprised yeah. we haven't seen it a little recently there's no. been a lot going on with earnings oh, with news shake uh, it off, new man. time new, it was remarkable in that you know all-time highs Right before we had that sell-off, right, Jack, right. on on the news on Tuesday at all-time highs, is like, I that was would, on the air. Yeah. That would but be I, ironic yeah. if things fell apart from all-time highs on the news. But guess what? Not happening. Not just yet. No. Right. Right. You, you, you need more traders in house. Yeah, it's, you know? we're seeing it here. Right. I mean, last two weeks of summer up north, you know, this is the time you want to take a vacation with your kids. Right. They're going back to school after right. Labor Day. They're already back in school, kind of in Florida. But man, it's hot and humid. It's the final part of the yeah. summer here as well. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, so, you know, going into the fall, Jack, it's going to be interesting because it's, uh, you know, we're, we're right at these highs, man. Bottom line is that they're going to, you know, bust them up right or up, bust them right down. Right up at them. I mean, we're just, you know, we're getting these shallow pullbacks. Those are necessary for really the market to continue higher. You know, yeah. we need sellers to go higher. We have to trap traders. We have to take traders off. We have to lighten the load. And each one of these pullbacks that holds and, you know, we're going right back to highs. You know, you have that quick reactionary pullback on Tuesday on a news event. And then, boom, we're right back to where we were. That's telling you the market remains strong. 
I'm not concerned by any means any larger sell-off. Um, you know, it's easy to break levels, but you got to respect the fact that we can hold support and rally back to highs. And as long as we're continuing to do that, there's no need to be um, bearish in, in the indexes here at least. Uh, so just continue to see, you know, are we coming off those supports and trading back in highs? And that's what we have right here. Now, if we start trading those supports, fail to get back to highs, you know, then you can start getting a little more bearish. But uh, just still full bull ahead. You know, yeah, full we're, bull we're ahead. Those S&P, they, so they, they shook that off by 9 o'clock that night oh, totally. and started trading higher. Totally. Right? <laughs> totally. totally. Listen, folks, again, uh, Jack uh, writes over at the Nadex site. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You know, hit the Nadex News. Check him out. Uh, his website is MajorLeagueTrading.com. Jack, you have a great week, safe week. We look forward to speaking to you next Thursday. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Thanks. You too, Jack. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We'll uh, wrap up with these natural gas numbers. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down five. NASDAQ's up 22. S&Ps are up four. 
And uh, gas uh, laying out here at uh, 295. Yeah, one final check, so it's 1055 about right now. And natural gas, if we were making that volatility trade, 295 is not where you want to be. No. And it kind of had quite a little pullback. Uh, these are five minute bars we're looking at, so you traded from 296 to 295 at about 1045. And again, you have the noon expiration, you still could have the hour. We talked about there's a lot of ways to trade this, obviously. There is. You could have taken some money off the table when you got that first spike. If maybe you were a little bit bearish, maybe you just didn't think the number that came in was going to give you the type of volatility you wanted. Either way, uh, we'll see what happens. But 295.23 as we sit there at 10, 10.55. All right, what we, what we will get, I suspect, folks, is that as we get into the winter, that's where natural gas will get maybe a little more volatile. Oil is definitely volatile. Oil, why not? Yeah. Let's finish with that as well, yeah. because I said to you, 9.30 this morning, we're trading down there at 67.33, yeah. and we traded all the way up almost to 68, called 67.99. Yeah. Uh, quite a number, man, in terms of 68, 68. How many times are you going to peak above that 68 before well, we're that's, go Well, see, that's, that's where the, the sell-down was in May as well as July. Okay. And the, those, those sellers are just laying there, and that's yeah. when we came down $3 in one day. And you back this up. I mean, this yeah. is, you know, Tuesday at 5 in the morning. We're down there at 65.33. And we traded to 68 and change, almost $3 in the span of about 48 hours. Uh, quite a run, man. So Huge. we'll see what happens. Huge yeah, run. Definitely. Huge run. The, uh, yeah, I'll, br I'll bring this up just so you can see the CLV. Because the what it's going into, you know, this had, oil had an amazing day yesterday. There's no doubt. But when you actually do look at what it's going into, you're going to see the flak. You know, the flak, what is that? That's... That's July, July. 11th, yep. and that's then, 70 to 66 dollars, and then May, 69 to 66. Not that's, big time. That's, those are dailies, quite those a daily, are dailies. quite that's, a daily bar. Those, those sellers are laying there. Rocking and rolling. Stay right there, folks. Fast market coming up next. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.